So why is a reliable water system important for a city like Birmingham? It's uh, absolutely necessary. I think uh, everybody, when, once they think about it, know how important water is. And to have a quality water, and to have a good, good water source area, and Birmingham is very, very fortunate in that we have the Birmingham Water Works system. What is your outlook for the future economic growth for Birmingham? I think the city of Birmingham will continue to grow. It's grown in the last few years. I recall when I was first mayor, it was a 60 square mile city. Today it's 120 square miles, which means it has grown considerably. It also means that uh, it has strengthened its tax base which is very, very fundamental for any city. Birmingham has a very good tax base. And uh, it has grown and has created jobs and opportunities. Uh, even when I think about the water uh, uh, system, Birmingham Water Works, you know, it creates jobs. There must be four or 500 job people working for the water system. And that's very important for us. So the quality of the water system is something we ought to be very proud of in this city that has helped the city to grow. Diversity and inclusion is becoming more and more apparent. Um, the need for it. So let's talk about your opinion of minority businesses and partnerships with utilities like Birmingham Waterworks or businesses in general. Oh, that's, that's very, very important. If we're gonna talk about equality in this country and what this country is committed to, and it's a good country, uh, although you know we have some, some struggles that go on about equality, but it's very essential that we strengthen our, our minority communities and that they, they have opportunities. And I think if somebody would look at the history of Birmingham and minority employment and the water, companies like the water work doing business with minority firms, they get a deep appreciation of uh, how that helps the country to become stronger by giving minorities uh, opportunities. In, in, in Birmingham, uh, we did through our industrial park programs. In fact, when I first started the program to expand the size of Birmingham, when it was a 60 square mile city, and we expand, to, to expand it, one of the first efforts we made was to bring Inland Lake, which belongs to the water, belongs to the water board, but is outside of the city limits, to bring it into the city limits. And from there, we moved on and, and, and we, we, we brought Smith, uh, some of the Smith Lake areas in and all of that. But in that process, we also had a strong minority participation program. And the Waterworks is a good example of that. When I started out as mayor, only 60% of the employees in the city of Birmingham were black. Most of them, most of them were cleaning, you know, doing important work, picking up the garbage, cleaning the streets, cleaning. And when I, when I left, it was better than 50%. We had only one black department head when I started out. When I left, we had about 12 black department heads, minority participation from the city. It set an example. The water work system has done the same thing. You heard it, the world is coming, the world is coming. Uh, Birmingham is going to be center stage for the World Games, a huge event. Out of your time as mayor uh, to where you see we are now, would you have ever thought that we would host an event to this magnitude? I'm very proud of that. And I, I commend this, this younger generation that's operating the city and running the businesses today. Uh, that's a distinction and an honor for the Birmingham to have the World Games. I don't know if I would have uh, visualized that back when I was mayor 20, 25 years ago, or whether I would have visualized I would have dreamed that something like that might happen. And thanks to this new leadership in the younger generation, it's happening in Birmingham. And it's a com very competitive thing, the growth of cities. We are, we're always competing with other cities in our region. And uh, Birmingham has been doing fairly well. We haven't caught the Charlottes yet, and we haven't caught Nashville yet. But we're competing with the Memphises and sort of trying to catch the Jacksonville. So it, it, it's, it's, it's great for Birmingham to have the World Games coming. We ought to be very proud of that. And Mayor Arrington, I'll leave you with this. Um, What's your legacy that you want to leave behind? You mentioned the younger generations, the younger leaderships, young business owners, up and coming businesses. What's your legacy that you'd like to leave? What would you like people to remember? Well, I, I want the younger generation to be dreamers and doers. And to have a dream of what we can do, to believe in what, what we can do. 
Birmingham uh, ought to be proud of its history in terms of what it has overcome. Um, when, shortly after I became mayor, then before, it was known as the Johannesburg of the South because of its racial policies. And uh, we, the 1964 Civil Rights Act comes out of the demonstrations here in Birmingham. It's the most far-reaching civil rights act in America. Uh, we ought to be very, very proud of that, and we ought to know that history. I think the younger generation must know what the struggle has been like and what the contributions have been like. And that's what we try to do through the Civil Rights Institute. We try to tell a story and, and things of that sort that we want young folk, a younger generation, to know how Birmingham got here and what the price was paid for us to get to where we are today. And one thing that is consistent is the need for water. Mayor Arrington, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.